It has been quite some time since I've uploaded a video to this channel. Uh, I think July 8th was the last day that I uploaded something. And YouTube algorithm days, that is like an eon of time. And I know my upload schedule has become a meme of sorts in the community to people, but I wanted to make this video to talk about why I don't have an, a consistent schedule, why I've been on this long break. I feel like it will be beneficial to myself to talk about it. It might be beneficial to some of you who might be going through the same thing uh, and just get it out there as to why things are never consistent on this channel. And it really boils down to, uh, think of this like a cake. The main part of the cake of reasons is my motivational state, my self-motivational state. I am really not good at self-motivating. It is really hard for me to do and my motivation like level is usually really low. I'm one of those people that it has a task or a chore or something that I need to do and I will say I will do it later, I will do it after this, or I'm just like it'll be fine if I just let it sit around for a little while. And it's been that way since uh, about college or so. So if I have a task, I'll find a way to do other things that I want to do more to put on top of that and do it later. Or if I want to do that task, it's usually when I don't have an opportunity to do it. Like I'm in the car going somewhere, I'll be like, no, when I get home, I'm gonna take care of this. It's gonna be so easy. I'm hyped to do it, let's get it done. I get home, all that energy out the window. That has been one of my biggest problems for quite some time. And along, on top of that cake, the little ice, the icing of this cake, are other small things like, especially for YouTube, but specifically for YouTube, one of the biggest parts of that icing is not being good at speaking on camera. I am terrible at this. To the point where I did the math to find out how bad I am at talking on camera with Jang one time when I think when he was live streaming, I figured out that for every one minute on camera that you see in a video, there's four to six minutes, I think, of things I have to cut out because I am just so bad at talking. Even with a script, I have a script for this video right here just so I can keep track of everything that I want to say. I'm pretty all right at typing out scripts. It's saying the stuff that is really difficult for me to do. My brain shoves sentences uh, in my head in front of the ones I'm trying to say, so I stumble. Um, I can't get the specific details out right. It doesn't flow the way I want to. Sometimes I feel like I'm saying it too much, like I'm reading something in my head. It's a mess and I'm really bad at it. And compared to other YouTubers like Drac, Drac specifically blows my mind every time I've seen him do a video. He'll just pick up a product, walk outside, talk naturally, fluidly, perfectly in my head about this and just walks back in and goes, all right, let's do another. And it, I cannot get to that point. Uh, it's so magical in a sense to me. So talking, I can set up the lights, I can set up the camera, I can fine tune the camera, I can get my audio on, I know how to level it. I'm decent at like figuring out the lighting settings of my camera. All that stuff is easy. Talking is my problem. And then editing is easy. I'm pretty quick, I'm pretty efficient, I know how to do it. It's the talking and that's like the bulk of the video and I just don't want to deal with it when I have to do something like a, uh, like a mod or uh, that shark dart thing took so many takes for me to do. Reviews are easy because they're kind of on the spot, first impressions, as well as gain a feel for something which you can I can naturally talk about. It feels more like a conversation with you as a viewer, whereas everything else is I have to list stuff and I'm just bad at it. So yeah, that's like the biggest reason I do not like making videos is just talking. Right now it's fine because I've done this a couple of times trying to get all this stuff out, but that's probably the biggest reason for videos. On top of that, we have little dashes of things like my subscriber count bleeding for no reason. It is a consistent trickle of subscribers that has gone from like one to 10 subs a day. It's gone higher in some spikes, but this trickle has just killed, it killed my morale early in the year. It made me so down about what I was doing wrong, what I could do to be better. And because YouTube is so vague with how things work, was it something wrong with my titles, my keywords that make them semi-demonetized? Was it content that's not as interesting? I know I need to do more mod builds and other more fun stuff other than just reviews, but 
you would think there'd be people out there who would be into that and would subscribe, but it's so consistent. It's not like fake accounts being taken out by YouTube, which they do a few times a year in big chunks. It's consistent trickling. And I still don't know what's happening with that, but I've gotten better about that part. This along with other stuff collided together. Think of it like a, my, my little, my emotional health plane flying across the ocean uh, and all of a sudden like wing blew off, spiraled down into the ocean and just crashed. I hit a major depression spot uh, over the summer and I'm not, I don't get depression. That's the thing. I'm usually like a neutral state to happy. I'm the person that I come off on in my videos, I, I try and make it as genuine as possible to who I am in real life. Um, I get, you know, I'm not feeling it moments. I get upset. That's all human emotion. This was a dark, like, time. And I don't know why it happened. I guess it was just something clicked, stress from all these little things building up, and I just crashed. I had no motivation to do anything. I wanted to sleep all day. I didn't want to get out of bed. Just wanted to watch YouTube, go on Reddit all the time. I'm stressed about things like house bills, which is depressing already when you think about it, but it hit me that I needed a consistent job. But, you know, why would someone hire me when they can hire someone better? Why would I apply for this job? I don't know anything about that, even if it's something I really want to do. So. I needed a more consistent job to pay for the bills. I wasn't putting out content, which was also bumming me out because I didn't have the motivation to do the content. Anyways, big, huge, black spiral. So I started applying for jobs and then Dragon Con was coming up and you're gonna be like, Dragon Con, what does that have to do with anything? Dragon Con came up where we needed to make our costumes. I had no motivation to do it, but I knew that the longer I put this off, the more screwed I would be because, you know, not as much time. With two weeks before the event, that is when my body finally said, all right, we're gonna start doing this. And for that time, I was up uh, about 18 hours, 16 to 18 hours a day doing this stuff. Like it was really unhealthy, sort of up all day and night, go sleep for a little bit, up all day and night doing nothing but getting ready for Dragon Con. Uh, which kind of helped me with motivation. Like I found some energy to get things done, that hurried rush of like, I put this off for too long, I have to get it done. I think I kind of thrive off of that in a way where it's like, gotta get this done, gotta get this done, we better do it. And my brain doesn't have the, the smartness to be like, you know, this would have been a really short task if you did it sooner. It's just like, yeah, that was easy and I did it with time left over. Good job, we'll freak out about it and do it again next time you have a major task. So we got everything, we got most things done. My, I was slacked off. I, sh I regret not doing this sooner, but that sleep schedule was just awful. <laughs> That's basically what happened was I hit this major point in my life where just something snapped and I, it's just been awful, but let's talk about the good stuff because I am feeling so much better now because of things that have happened after this dark moment in my life. Um, now I have a, it just, things are so much better. My, men, my mental state is in a place where I, I, I like it to be. I'm in, I'm feeling great. I have a, I was hired for a full-time job, which I really enjoy. We adopted two dogs that I love. They're adorable. They're so sweet. Uh, except for the small one, he's kind of a dick, but whatever. Um, they really help have uh, something there that makes you feel good. Like, I love dogs, dogs make me happy. Having these two dogs here really makes me feel warm and fuzzy and in a better mood every time I get to like squeeze them, pet them, all that stuff. If you have a dog, you know exactly what I'm, or a pet in general, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So the job plus that are excellent. I found a, another creative outlet that isn't Nerf, which was one of the things I entered in the Q&A was Nerf is basically my only creative outlet that I have, and it's something that I worry about burning out from. I, I'm in a band. I've been in the band since before this black period, I don't know what to call it, dark period happened, but it gives me a, a second outlet for creativity, so I don't have to rely on just nerfing to do it. And it's a different sort of creativity, which really 
feels good to do. It feels good to hang out with some guys, come up with stuff, and make it into something that isn't Nerf. Because Nerf I've been doing for a long time, this is different anyways. Um, yeah, those three things, am I missing anything? Um, those are really just three things that have helped get me back into a positive headspace. And while the job is full time, and that means I don't have too many days off, but on the days off I like to be super casual and just like sit back and chill, I do have days off and I would like to get back into doing this. There are still going to be times where it might be a while before I upload something. I know the joke is Bub was really inconsistent with his upload. Now you know why is because motivation for doing videos is not the highest there is. And I wish to, I, I'm going to try and find ways to make it better and I'm, I want to get better at talking because that's really the thing that holds me back. I don't know how to do that. If you have suggestions, leave them in the comments below. But yeah, that's basically what's been happening for the past like three months, something like that. It's just, it's been a weird time. It's been a roller coaster of emotions. Uh, but yeah, I felt like putting that out there before I get back into doing Nerf stuff would be beneficial to not only myself because it gives me a way to talk about it. Uh, maybe some of you are going through the same things, but I feel like you all deserve to know. <sighs> but yeah, also it's been really hot in Atlanta and this this room, woo, I don't know if you can ever see me sweating in this room, but man, it's hot. I cannot wait for winter. So that is, that is everything, I believe. I think that's what it is. So to my Patreon supporters um, who have stuck with me, I, I totally understand if you wanna take off or lower your donations, that's completely fine. I get it because I am really not good at this Patreon thing. Uh, I wanna get better, I'm gonna try and get better. If you have reward tiers that you think would be better for me, for you, stuff that you're interested in, please let me know. But uh, to all the people who stick around, who, just support me in any way. It doesn't matter if you watch, it doesn't matter if you give me money, it doesn't matter if we just talk. Really, really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Uh, thanks for just being here. I appreciate all of you. And um, yeah, hope you guys are doing okay. If you're in a dark spot, I hope you can find a way out of it break your own path through it and get to a better headspace and I guess do it in a way that has longevity to it. Um, just, you know, stay in good health, support each other, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching.